Hey, what's up? Sean here. Today we're making a Nerf gun out of cardboard. Um, if you're new here, this channel is all about making creative and inspiring DIY projects. So if that's something that interests you, please consider subscribing. And with that out of the way, let me show you how I made this. So let's talk about the trigger mechanism first, since let's be real, that's probably all you want to see. And you were probably planning on skipping to that part anyway. So let's just cut right to the chase. Basically how this works is when you pull the trigger, uh, the lever on top there tips upwards. And this will work in conjunction with these other parts here. Uh, essentially what happens is you pull back this piece, which gets caught on a lip. And when you pull the trigger, it comes off the lip and propels forward. And that is what's going to make contact with the bullet. Next, I made this revolving barrel piece, which will be able to hold six shots. And it's worth mentioning that I placed magnets all around the barrel here. And those magnets will be attracted to this other magnet, which I hid inside the gun. And the reason I used magnets is these are going to ensure that the barrel always automatically snaps in proper alignment. Uh, and that way you don't have to worry about, you know, perfectly aligning each shot manually yourself. But rather you just twist it and it will quickly snap to the correct position by itself. At this point, I needed some way to be able to cock the gun, so my solution for that was to use this old clothes hanger. And so what I did was I cut off a piece of that to sort of act as a hook, and when you pull back the charging handle, the clothes hanger will drag the firing pin back with it, which will get caught on that lip. To attach the charging handle to the gun, I used these straws which I kind of trapped in between this little gap here and I glued the charging handle to those straws to allow it to be able to slide back and forth but still be fixed onto the gun. Once all of the moving parts and uh, all the complicated stuff was out of the way, I just had to work on the aesthetics. Now for this piece here, it's worth mentioning that I used some magnets to make it removable, uh, just in case I need to access the inside and change some of the rubber bands. But uh, other than that, I just had to make it look nice and uh, that was about it. 